they will spit up some of their stomach juices mm. and it will taste kind of distasteful for a bird or a lizard that would try to eat it. No, you, you're done with molting. I mean, he's like, going to get a like, little bit larger like and then he's, he's going to grow. Like, he's going to turn into a chrysalis. Yes. The ones, yeah, the ones in the back are not true legs. They're called pro legs, which are like kind of like little suction cups. Oh, hey folks, welcome to Keys Maws. This is David and the fine children. I'm Sophia. Hi. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Guys, you guys have your caterpillars, your yes, sphinx caterpillars. We, we are going to do an analysis. They have now had their caterpillars for two days. And we're going to do an analysis on what's going on as they're raising their caterpillars to adulthood. So guys, check this out as the kids have their first experience raising their very own caterpillars. Give us a like and subscribe. Let's check out the video. Oh, I wish he got it. They feed him. I got. I got super worried. Why? Because he wasn't eating. Because he literally did not touch his food okay. or anything. A lot of butter. Poppy, that, what is that? Think, what happened? What did, is that? He, it just came out of him. Did it come out the front end or the back end? The front. Well, sometimes when caterpillars are kind of annoyed or bothered they will spit up some of their stomach juices mm. and it will taste kind of distasteful for a bird or a lizard that would try to eat it. Um, now, Sophia, let's start with you. So we have you, to guys, eat it. you guys both have your caterpillars. Lorenzo's is green. Sophie's is yellow, same species. It's Eumorpha fasciata. But Sophia, talk to me about your caterpillar. What happened over the last two days? Okay, so over the last two days, um, it wasn't eating and yeah. The night before, like the night we got them, my dad said, oh, they'll eat this like, like in like overnight. So when I woke up the morning to feed him, I got, I got super worried. Why? Because he wasn't eating? Because he literally did not touch his food okay. or anything. So my dad is like, there's something wrong with him. And he's like, oh no, he just like, he's just like molting. Like, molting. Yeah. And and so I was like, oh, okay. So when I woke up the next morning, well, today, yeah. he still wasn't eating as much. Like he didn't do like, But he had much. shed his skin and he molted. Yeah, and he turned like burnt yellow. Yeah. Turn colors over the mold. That's pretty cool. Now, Sphinx moths usually have at least two color forms. And this one actually has multiple color forms. And this kind of guy kind of looks like a tequila sunrise kind of thing going on. I like that color form. It's like a yellow one. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Now, yeah. so he molted and he definitely is very, very healthy. And he's now he's looking for food. So, Sophie, how does he feel? These things at the top, I mean, at his front are ticklish. The true legs. Like, the true legs, the little ones on the front. Look at these, the little suckers. All right, hold on. Let me let me let me focus on that real quick. Okay, stay still. He's flipping. I know he's flipping. He doesn't like to be upside down. These are called pro legs, guys. Uh, caterpillars are true insects, and the true legs are all the way up in the front. There's six of them. Mm -hmm. The and ones, yeah, the ones in the back are not true legs. They're called pro legs, which are like kind of like little suction cups that they use to hold on to the branch with. They're literally so sticky and like. Like literally, like yeah. this is no problem for him. Yeah, he hangs upside down. Okay. But he doesn't have much to hang on to with your finger. Uh, so I wouldn't hold him upside down like that too much. But Ew, so we, they, it went away. Yes. Well, yeah. So, so <laughs> via uh, final instar, he's not going to shed his skin again. The next time he sheds his skin, it will be for a pupa. So I'm you've excited. got probably two or three days of feeding him. And he, this is the time when he's gonna eat a like a beast. Absolutely. And guys, when he turns into a moth, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take pictures and see if I could um, go you, like my dad and take pictures like him. You, you, you should wanna... sketch it. I'm gonna take his big his big camera, camera, and I'm gonna do pictures like my dad does. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So Sophie's gonna do some photography on her moth. Mm -hmm. um, Look at that, though. Yeah, but Sophie, you do have to, um, you do have to uh, feed your caterpillar because there's 
Yeah. Pretty much no leaves left on your stem, right? Yeah, okay. he's done molting, so he's going to start eating like... Like, like he's tremendously. Like, like he weighs more than my dad. Like a boss. All right, now, Lorenzo, your guy is green. Yes. Yes. All I right, like now, my, my color I think better. that's a common color, the green. Yeah, color. the green is the most common color. Uh, Sophie's definitely got a little bit of a different color. But, but special. Hey, by the way, do you know what those little holes on the side of the caterpillar are? His oxygen. mouth. That's where they get oxygen, yeah. All right, so these he's got all these little sphericals and these little holes on the side of the body. That's where they breathe. Yes. Okay. Now, Lorenzo, your guy's final instar, and in fact, I think yours was final instar when he started feeding, or when you found him two days ago. Uh, so yours is a little bit larger than Sophia's. So mine's gonna like molt soon, sooner. No, you you're done with molting. I mean, he's like, gonna get a like, little bit larger, like and then when he's, he's gonna, gonna grow. Like, he's gonna I mean, turn into turn, a chrysalis. Yes, that's what I meant. That's what you meant. Okay. Do you guys like my new nail job? Yeah. Well, something like that. <laughs> okay. All right, Lorenzo, tell me about yours. What what are, you, what are your thoughts about your caterpillar? Oh, come on, you can do it. He's waiting. You can do it. You can do it. We well, got it. Tell me about your thoughts on your caterpillar. He's pretty cool. His face looks a little weird. Let me hold him. His face looks weird? Yes. Yeah. Let him crawl. Okay. Um, one thing that is concerning to me, guys, this spherical over here is black. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Um, that is either a black spherical or... <laughs> It could be a barachnid wasp parasitization, which I hope it's not, because if it is, die. yeah, he's he's got parasitic wasp larvae inside of him. And, oh, um, that's nasty. Yeah, it's kind of like a little alien situation going on. But I'm hoping that's not what it is, but that is kind of what it looks like when a barachnid wasp comes in, uh, injects its ovipositor, inside of a caterpillar and lays eggs that's kind of what it looks like so i'm hoping that's not what it is he's pretty he is pretty um but unfortunately that is part of the deal in the insect world there's a <laughs> lot yeah he's he's cruising isn't he all right they go fast they do all right so kids why don't we feed your caterpillars what do you Let's think do it. okay all right lorenzo has socks on but um we don't want him to get his socks dirty. Sophie, let's go f pick some food. We're gonna go all the way down to the water's edge where the Ludwigia is, the prim primrose. And we're gonna pick some food for the caterpillars. Now, look at this, look at this stem, Sophie. Remember this? This is where you guys found them. No, and I found mine. No, this is where you found them and there was there were a couple extra caterpillars on here. Look how they stripped this thing down, guys. There is nothing left on that plant. So, actually, I lied. There is a little left, and there's a little caterpillar. Look at them. See the little little caterpillar under the leaf? If I can get to focus. See the little caterpillar under the leaf with the horn? See him? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. You see him? No. Oh, I see it. Yep. So, anyway. Oh, look at this guy. I found my caterpillar. Here's another color form, guys. Check this guy out. All right. I just found my color form, guys. Oh, my gosh. That is so pretty. You like that one? Do you see it? <laughs> Yeah, that's mine. Same species, guys. Are you sure? But very sure. That's I'm absolutely positive. That's a tequila sunrise right there. Sophie's got a yellow one. Mine's kind of like got that wicked coloration there. All right. Well, now we it's have to so pick. So sick. You like it? Yeah. That's a really, really, really cool, cool caterpillar. Okay, so. What we gotta do, we do have to get food for these guys. There's some over here. Yeah, there is some over there. I'm gonna pick, guys, there's some Ludwigia growing right up out of the grass. And I'm just gonna pick some right like that. Actually, there's a, there's an old skin of a caterpillar. Look at that right there. 
There's an old skin of a caterpillar with a little horn on it. See the white skin? I'll bet there's a caterpillar on here somewhere. And I'll bet it will find it as we look in the grass or in the, in the cup in days to come. Are those good? Is that good? What? We're doing any more. Uh, no, we're going to need more. Here, why don't you get, instead of getting the, the bigger plants, why don't you get some of the little littler plants on the side like this. Like this right here. Got it. Okay. I got white roots. You got white roots? All right. We're getting some plant guys to feed our caterpillars. Let's see. Is that enough? That might be enough. All right. That'll be enough. Okay. All right, guys. That'll be enough Ludwigia for about a day for our three How caterpillars. What are you going to name yours? Um, I'm going to name mine Tequila Sunrise. Tequila Sunrise? Yeah. So let me just see one thing real quick. Or maybe I can call them Margaritaville. Oh, look at the peacock bass. Dude. Monster. And there's a monster right underneath the dock, too. Oh, my gosh. And I'm surprised Lorenzo didn't jump over here faster than a, a lightning bolt. He's inside. No, he's not. Lorenzo. Okay. Did you see that? There was a peacock bass this big. Oh, yeah, they cruised up. Wow. Big peacock bass, guys. Another exotic down here in South Florida. All right. But now that we have our caterpillars, let's go feed them. <laughs> what is going on? Whoa. Whoa. I wish you got it. It was just going like a whoa. I get it, sir. All right. Well, I don't know what the heck that was, but Lorenzo and Sophie's caterpillars just started to do <laughs> jujitsu. All right, guys. Now, I just found this Margaritaville version here. Uh, what do you, which, <laughs> which color form do you think is the coolest? <laughs> I like the yellow, the burnt yellow. I like the burnt yours. yellow. I like yours. You like Lorenzo? You like this one? Yeah, I like. The, I like the margarita. Comment, like comment down below which one you like: butterfly, yeah. margarita, or baby. Yeah. Comment down below which color form you like: the green one, this guy here, Margaritaville, or the sunset version. I think it's burnt. Oh, yellow. Jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. He's... Bro, look at them. All right. Mine, so, mine wants to get in a fight with you. Bro. All right. Comment down below which color form you like better. I'm going to set mine up with some food. Guys, we, we plucked some food. And here's... I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of a different strategy than the kids. The kids have um, water picks in their cups. Um, I'm actually not going to use a water pick just because I'm kind of lazy and because Lorenzo, don't want honey. Okay. and because <laughs> my guy is so close to full grown that I'm just going to put him in a cup with no water pick and a solid lid. I'm just going to put some leaves in there. When do you think he's going to be? Like he'll, he'll start pupating probably tomorrow. So I, I just got to keep fresh food in there for one day and he'll be fine. So, I need to jam the leaves down. Now, look, the difference is my lid, guys, is solid. It's got no holes. So what that means is it holds the moisture and it'll hold these leaves longer than if the whole, if the lid had holes in it. But guys, now what you guys are going to do. I'll go first. All right, go get some scissors. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the leaves out of your container T take your take your take your lid out. See the, the kids' lids have holes in them, and that way the air can exchange. All right, now throw throw the old stem away. Now throw your old paper towel away. Just just dump it out. Just dump it out. Just like that. All right. Now I cut some new ones for you. You go put go ahead and put one in. Now what you got to do? Don't I is, have to redo this because it's like full. Of no, that's no, that's okay. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to cut cut like two of these stems. Okay. And then what you can do is put, put them, them both in. put them right in. Yeah. Just 
just make sure it's in there a little bit. All right, don't, don't jam it. All right, now go ahead and put your stem in your cup. There's enough water in the water pick. And now here's your caterpillar. Bye-bye. All right, Mr. Sun Sunrise is going down there. All right, now she's going to put her lid on top. Her caterpillar is set until tomorrow, guys. But she's going to need to feed it again tomorrow. That is a very healthy situation right there. Lorenzo, you ready? Oh, yes. I'm not sure what he's doing. All right, here, let me hold your guy. Oh, okay. Let me hold, okay. let me, let me hold uh, oh, Butterfly here. All right. All right, now what you're going to do is... Here, I'll do this for you. Hey, Just... this is how good junk out. All right, I'm going to do that for you. Go ahead and put a new paper towel in. Oh, yes. Yeah. And you already messed it up. And you already messed it up. Beautiful. Yeah. It's See a three-piece three, three piece paper towel. No. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Put that in there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm doing this with one hand there. Why are you doing it with one hand? Because, all right, now take this all the way works. all the way down by the bottom and cut with the scissors. At least two of the two of the big stems. Cut the roots off. Stick the stems inside the water. Bowl. Okay, now gently put them inside of the cup without breaking the stem. Without. Without breaking the stem. Don't do it. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. Um, um, are you okay? No. Oh my gosh. You, you can use two hands. So it, you know, two hands is okay. Um, edit. 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 <laughs> edit. Dude, what the heck? Just bend it down. So wait, you're gonna break it. Just bend it. A little bit, a little bit of a bendage. There you go. They can bend them like. Yeah, they can bend. All right, now take. So, Shelby, let him do it. Let him do it. All right, butterfly, you're gonna go in your little home. <laughs> eat. All right, go. Tell him to go eat there. Get off my finger and go eat. Yeah, nice and go gentle. Go get fat. Nice and, father nice and gentle. Go, go, go get fat. Go get fat. All right, get your lid on. Get it. All right, guys, let's see. Who can get their caterpillar to get all the way through? Will it be Sophie with Sunset? Will it be Lorenzo with Butterfly? Or will it be me with... Well, we already know that Poppy's gonna do it because first of all... He's got a little experience. He's got a little experience. A little bit of experience. And second of all, he's just almost there. Yeah. Like we true. have longer. Yeah, that's true. All right, guys, comment down below which of these you like better. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. I hope you like this video. Can't wait to show you the mods that come out of these caterpillars. Hope Lorenzo's is not parasitized. Right? Hope so. Hope so. All right, guys. Enjoy South Florida. Take care.